Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how to code the interactive FAQ section for your website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First, we need to define HTML structure of our section. We will start with the body tag, the main content container of the entire HTML document. Everything inside this tag is what will be displayed on the page. Next comes the section tag. Section groups content related to a specific section on the page. In our case, it will be FAQ section. Let's add the main heading of the FAQ section, H1, with the class FAQ title. And now we can add content container that will hold all our FAQ items, class FAQ, and div element specifically for all individual FAQ item, question and answer in this container. Every single FAQ item will have a button. This will be the element that the user clicks to see the answer. The button will also have an icon. Plus icon indicates the answer is collapsed and can be expanded. And a container for the answer text. It will be initially hidden and revealed when the question is clicked. Let's add a paragraph tag that contains the actual answer text. Once we define FAQ item section with the actual content, we can simply copy and paste it two times to create three FAQ items in total. I will speed up this part a little bit. As you can see, the visual appearance of our content is not really nice. Let's fix it by applying CSS styles to the elements. First, we need to style the body of the page. Set the default font for the entire page, Arial sans serif. Remove default margins and paddings around the body elements to ensure consistent spacing. Set the default background color for the page to a light gray. Now we can style the FAQ container. Limit the width of the section to 800 pixels. Add 50 pixel space above and below the section. Center it horizontally with auto for left and right margins. Add 20 pixels of internal spacing around the content inside the section. Set the background color of the section to white. Around the corners of the container with the radius of 10 pixels. Add a subtle shadow for a slightly elevated appearance. Let's also add quick styling for the title of the FAQ section. Center the title horizontally. Set the default font size to 2REM, response unit based on the root font size. Add 20 pixel space below the title and set the text color to a dark gray. Style each individual FAQ item, question and answer block. Add a light gray border below each item for separation. Add vertical spacing inside the item, 10 pixels on top and bottom. For each clickable question button, we will remove any default background. Remove the border around the button. Make the button take up the full width of the container. Align the text to the left. Set the font size to 1.2 RAM. Change the text color to blue shade to make it look like a clickable element. Change the cursor to a pointer, hand icon, to indicate interactivity on hover. Add internal spacing inside the button. Apply Flexbox for layout, make it easier to align the question and text and icon. Vertically center the content, text and icon. Place the question text on the left and the icon on the right. Let's also style the question button when it's focused. Remove the default focus outline for a clear appearance. Add a minor styling for an icon. Make the icon larger than text for emphasis. And match the icon's color to the question text color. Style the answer text block. Add internal spacing inside the answer block. Set the font size to 1 REM. 
Change the text color to a medium gray for readability. Hide the answer by default. The answer will be visible only when needed. And finally, style the icon when the answer is visible. Change the icon content to minus to represent the question is expanded. Now our FAQ section looks great, but it has a major downside. It's not interactive. To fix it, we will need to write some JavaScript. First, we need to add an event listener to the document that will listen for the DOM content loaded event, which is fired when the HTML document has been completely loaded and parsed. Now let's use document query selector all to select all items with the class FAQ question. This command creates a node list, a collection of elements that we can loop through using method for each. We will iterate over each element in the questions collection. Since we want to capture the click event on the question, we will need to add a click event listener to each FAQ question element. This code will be executed whenever an FAQ question is clicked. We will toggle the active class on the clicked FAQ question elements. If the active class is not present, it's added. If it's present, it's removed. We use it to apply the style dynamically, such as show the answer to the question that the user wants to see. Question next element sibling fetched the corresponding FAQ answer associated with the clicked question. We will select the child element of the current FAQ question with the class icon and we need to update the icon minus or plus dynamically. For that, we will use a simple if-else logic. If it's set to block, meaning the answer is currently visible, we will hide the answer. Set the display style of FAQ answer element to known to hide it from the view and update the text content of the icon element to plus, indicating that the question is collapsed and can be expanded. In other case, Set the display style of the FAQ element to block, making it visible. And update the text content of the icon element to minus, indicating that the question is expanded and can be collapsed. Let's quickly validate our brackets, ensure that we don't have any unclosed brackets, and test our code. As you can see, it works exactly as we want it to work. Let me know what you think about this FAQ section down in the comments. Thank you.